hi guys welcome back to my channel today is a plan with me in my home life planner the planner that i am using for my home life is squad ghost so let's get into this plan with me okay guys so i am just popping out this week um i did not show last week's spread at all so i will try to make sure i post that this week um i did do a video on it i just I was so busy last week that I wasn't able to get that out. So this week's um, focus for my home life planner is basically just to get back into the groove of planning in my home life planner. I had kind of gotten away from it toward the end of June. I just wasn't really interested in it. And now that I have my squad ghost planner, uh, I really want to um, begin using it again because it's super important to help keep my myself on track so um let's get started i just pulled out some sticker books that i may be using and i'm starting in the happy girl sticker book i'm trying to use that one a little bit more um i purchased it because it has some really cute stickers in there however some of them um really doesn't apply to me so it's very difficult to um, actually use those so i may figure out a different way to do that so I grabbed this beautiful sticker that says you are beautiful and I laid it down um, between 12 through 14. My birthday is actually on tomorrow because this video is, up, is being uploaded on the 11th. Um, so I laid that down across my birthday and the day after. So then I'm back in this beautiful washi sticker book. I love the washi in this sticker book. Um, I don't like the material it's made from, but I do like the actual washi. So I grabbed this like green stripe and I laid it down and then I grabbed um, this little green sticker to lay it down on top of it um, and it just says very busy because we are going out on Saturday um, not just to celebrate uh, my birthday but just have some family time. So I also want to tie in um, some pink in this spread from that sticker so I grabbed that um, pink sticker to lay across top priorities and then that pattern sticker. Um, to lay across top three. So now we are um, ready to actually do a little bit of functional planning, I guess you could say. So now we're ready to do some decorating. I decided to pull these florals from the um, Happy Girl sticker book. It kind of, it went with that sticker and that sticker is my basis for my spread this week. So. I thought it was really cute so I didn't cut any and lay them off to the side I just went with it guys and I really love the way that it turned out I thought it was really pretty um, but not over the top so now we're getting more so into the functional side of planning I am grabbing um, a couple of what's for dinner stickers now I'm not gonna be cooking that often this week um, I go back to school and start uh, decorating and well start setting up my classroom um, and you guys will see that blog pop up on Friday um, but I just intentionally decided not to cook a lot this week so I only have um, three what's for dinner stickers because we're definitely gonna be eating leftovers um, Saturday when we go out of town there's a Trader Joe's there so I am going to go there and pick up some things so that I can plan really um, healthy meals for the next week. Then I grabbed this yellow um, weekend sticker. I thought it was super cute and it pop brings out some yellow um, in my spread and I had that yellow was for dinner sticker on Sunday. So I also grabbed that movie night sticker. You guys know how I feel about those black um, stickers um, that has that beautiful font. And then I also grabbed the work sticker so that I can lay down the day that I'm actually going to work. So then we move into the everyday plan sticker book and I'm just going to be doing something a little bit different. I need a checklist for Tuesday and Wednesday because those are the only two days that I am cleaning my house um, this week. So I am just front loading all of my zones and everything and I'm going to be doing all of those things on um, Tuesday and Wednesday so I decided to um, just plan on one side I just found it to be easier and I'm using these little box stickers that I didn't even know were there to identify the days that I'm going to be working out and my off day was supposed to be Thursday however 
um, which is why I use that little star there, um, that's an optional day in the program that I'm doing. But I skipped Monday, so I'm actually going to be working out on Thursday. You know, things happen. So then I also decided to use a checklist um, to just write down what my son is going to be taking to daycare with him. Um, and he has three meals at daycare, breakfast, lunch, and snack. Well, two and a half meals. Um, and so I just wanted to write down those things that he's going to be having when he goes to daycare. And I, I ended up not using all of them because he's not going to daycare. Well, he wasn't going to daycare um, on Thursday and Friday, but he is now because just to help um, his transition um, back to school. So now I pulled out this um, yellow checklist um, and it is going to help me um, track my water intake I'm trying to do much better with my water I found that find that when I am actually drinking water like I should um, it's much easier for my weight to just kind of start coming off and then I put some motivational stickers train like a beast look like a beauty and then I'm doing this for me and it was kind of off the edge a little bit so I just trimmed that so now we're ready to go to the other side and on this side I want another motivational quote um, and it says push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you and I thought that was pretty awesome and yeah guys I love the way my spread turned out it's nice and cheery and bright um, it makes me happy for my birthday week so yeah um, I'm also going to quickly kind of walk you through all the things that I have planned this week. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly start writing a few things down. But I didn't write down a lot. So the first thing I did was just notate that um, my goal is 100 ounces. I started using this um, black stead letter pen. However, um, it was smudging. So I'm still working on my lettering with regular pens. So I'm just notating what days I'm going to be doing each workout. Um, like I said, Lift 4 is a four day program. So you have day one, two, three, and four with three rest days, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but I love that program because if something come up like it did this week, I can just shift those dates around. So um, my son is gonna be having meatballs. Um, and sweet potato egg muffins for breakfast and a pouch and some puffs for um, snack this week I generally just make a big batch of everything and my son doesn't mind eating the same things so um, that makes it a lot easier on me as well um, the meals that I'm making for my family this week are spaghetti grilled chicken and rice and then I'm going to do a nice um, Sunday dinner on Sunday and that's going to just be um, some vegetables and baked chicken it's gonna be really nice um, I just notated what time I want to be at work on the 9th and then now I'm making my cleaning list um, but this is not all of the zones in my home, but because I'm going back to work, I'm just going to set myself um, these three goals. And then if I am able to do anything else, then I will. Okay, guys. So that's going to that's gonna wrap up this plan with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.